In this episode I will run through the process of making this cute low poly world, in this case low poly beach. It's a really nice and fun project to do and in case you want to watch the full step-by-step -step instructional tutorial that is two hour long, you can find it on the link down there, it's on my Patreon. Right now let's jump straight into Blender. Okay, let's start by not deleting the default cube, but instead invert the selection, control I or command I on a Mac and select camera and light and X and delete it. By the way, here you can see what I'm pressing on a keyboard and my mouse gestures. Okay, now that we cover that, let's use our precious default cube. All right, I will scale it, S to scale it and shift Z not to scale it on Z axis. And I will just type 20 on a keyboard just to scale it 20 times. So something like this is okay, but I think the cube is a little bit too thin. So I will press S and Z and scale it on Z axis a little bit, maybe like that. And to better see the edges of the cube, I will go right here and check cavity. And also from screen to boat and just increase things a bit and this is a little bit better okay this is our water and now i'll make a copy shift d okay and i will name this water and the other one is sand i will hide the water and go to the sand go to the face edit view and add a bunch of loop cuts both on x and y axis in this case i'm adding 15 then go to the top view and vertex edit mode select a bunch of vertexes like this and move them down on the z axis you can also use proportional editing to have a little bit better transition and this is my shore so now with the water i will do exactly the same thing and this time i will use proportional editing with random curve to make this wavy surface and move the surface also a little bit down to reveal a little bit of the sand and this is how it looks okay now it's time to add some materials so this orangey tone is for the sand and now let's go add the material for the water exactly the same procedure a material add a new one i will name it water and then I will use a bluish tone, so here something like this. And in order to make a more transparent like a water, then go trans to transmission and move the weight all the way to one. And also IOR put to 1.333. This is much better and this is how it looks. Now it's time to make some docks. So let's add a cube, let's scale it on the Y axis, also a little bit on an X axis. And obviously we need to scale it down on the Z axis, something like this, this looks cool. I will make a copy just uh, to have it for later. And now I will transform this a little bit. So let's go to the face view, add a bunch of loop cuts in this case too, and just rotate it a little bit. Let's add two more loop cuts on another side and just select one of them and move it up. And this is the first board. Then make a copy to make another board, go to the edge edit uh, mode and just tweak it a little bit, move maybe this a little bit up and then we have a little bit of variation here. Also, we can straight this up like that and maybe move it to the left. This is cool, so just to have a little bit different board. Now I will show a really cool trick. So we can select this edge, control B to bevel it just once like that and something like this. Now we can just press X and delete the faces here. So like that. And now let's go to edges and select these two edges, F to fill it. And also select this one and this one and F to fill it. So we have really nice cut into the board and I really like it. Now you can use the same techniques and make several different boards, just add different variations to make them a little bit different than other ones and you will have a lot of materials to make a dock. Now we can select all the boards and put them into a new collection. So M and uh, name the collection, so I will name it dock. And this is it. Now let's move it to a proper place where the dock should be. So I will put it somewhere here, move it up on the Z axis and I think a little bit down and this is okay. All right, now let's go to the top view and now I will just move it a little bit on the X axis and go to the render view. This is cool. Now I will make a copy of this shift D and just move it to the left and make this smaller. So in order to make it smaller, I will go to the vertex edit mode and just select the top vertices in the X-ray mode in order to make sure to select all of them and just move them down. And also I will do the same on the other side just until I have the proper fit. So this is how it looks. And now we need to add a little bit more details here, some boards that will connect all these boards together. So let's use a cube and let's just position it and scale it properly to fit our needs. Also, we can tweak it a little bit uh, like we did with the boards with the dock. And after we finish with this, this is how it looks. So I think this is cool. Now let's add a few more things and the dock is done. 
Also, we can add different materials to the board, so a little bit brighter for one board and a little bit darker for another one, and then just randomly select boards and apply these materials, and this is the final result. All right now, let's add a final object here, and we are done with the docs. Let's add the circle, and I will go with a circle with eight vertices, not 32, but eight, 32 is default. So with that, I will go and move it a little bit up, on Z axis to see what we are doing and go to the vertex edit mode. I have to fill it, E to extrude it down and move everything down like that. And then we can go and scale the bottom a little bit down to get this taper effect. And also we can do the same trick like we did with the boards. So to make this inner cut and uh, this is how it looks. Just duplicate several times and rearrange around the dock and you're done. Remember our previous episode where we created this cute low poly boat. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. Well, now we will use that boat for this scene right here. If you want to learn how to create this boat, you have this tutorial, it's fully covered step by step. So let's do it. I will just drop the boat to this scene and create a new collection. I will name boat. So this is it. Okay, now let's position the boat a little bit above the water. So G and Z. Nice. Let's go to the top view, rotate it and position it here and maybe scale it a little bit. So S to scale it and G to move it a little bit here. And this is it. I really like it. And now it's time to add the palm tree. So I will go again with the circle with eight vertices, then F to fill it, E to extrude it up a little bit, maybe like that, S to scale it, and then GZ a little bit more up, and then Control B to bevel it. And this is okay, like that. Then I will select this edge like that and GG and move it down. So this is cool. All right, now it's time to add several iteration of these same objects. So I will go with the array. Let's increase the number of instances to three, for example, and I will not use relative offset, I will use object offset. And for object offset, I need an object, I will use empty, and then I will just go to the object offset and select the empty. Right now I will go from three to eight, for example, and now I will select the empty and move it up, either to go here to the settings or manually just use empty and GZ and move it up. And this is it, just position it like that. And this is perfect. Also, you know that Palm Trees has every single iteration of these, I don't know, the name is smaller and smaller. So how to do it? Well, just press S and scale the empty down. And this is what you get. Okay, a little bit smaller. And now let's increase the number of these Palm Tree parts to 12. And now it's time to curve this palm tree trunk, you know how it's curved. So for that, just select the empty, press R and just rotate it. And you can play with this. This is really, really fun way to make a lot of objects like that. And I will just go with R and curve it a little bit like that. Okay, now it's time to create a palm tree leaf. And for that, I will use a plane, make several loop cuts, move them up and down, go to the vertex edit mode and just scale the vertices down until we have the leaf shape. Then we can use a knife, make a few cuts, erase the faces and just make a copy of it, maybe tweak the copy a little bit, just to have different variations. And this is it. Now we can add materials. So for the leaves, one tone of uh, uh, green and another tone of green, and also the palm tree a little bit brownish tone, and then just make more copies of the leaves and just reposition them however you want. This is totally up to you and just move it to the top of palm tree. And here you have it. Now you can make just a few copies and position them however you want. And this is what I got. I really like it. Now it's time to add some rocks to the scene. So for that, I will use Icosphere and with subdivisions of one. And now just place it wherever you want. I will just move it a little bit up to see what I'm working with. Maybe slash forward and go to isolation mode. And this is how it looks. Okay, now I will scale it on the Z axis a little bit. So S and Z and scale it up like this. And now let's go to the vertex edit mode and just move some vertices. We can bevel the vertices, shift control B and just uh, add more vertices and then scale them along the rock and merge them with other vertices and just make any shape you like. And it's really easy and fun process to do. And this is how the rock looks. I will now go out of isolation mode with slash forward, go to the top view and move not the beach, but actually the rock, put it in the top left corner. Okay, maybe a little bit more down. And now I will make a copy of this rock, shift D. 
and just make it smaller with the S and R to rotate it and just position it wherever I want. And I will make just the several more copies of the same rock and reposition it along the scene to get some really cool result. Again, now just colorize the rock, add the material, add the color and just copy it to other rocks and this is it. You can add different variations, maybe you can make one rock darker like this one and a few of them also darker. So I'm here, make a copy of that material and just go and make this rock a little bit darker. And then I will select a few more rocks like here, this one, this one and then lastly select this one and then control L and link materials. This is it. Now it's time to add some plants to the scene. I will use a plane to create the leaves, exactly the same method like I did with the palm trees. So make a several loop cuts and then scale the vertices to create the leaf shape, then use a knife to create the cuts and erase the faces and just create different versions of the leaves copy them all around in the circle and make a few of them bigger, a few of them smaller. Now rotate it down, make a copy, also rotate that copy a little bit down, rotate it around, make it bigger, just create different variations. And now we have some kind of a bush. Now it's time to add different materials, again, like we did with the palm trees and just rearrange them in the scene, however you want. After that, this is how it looks. Okay, now it's time to create a fish and to add a fish to the scene. So I will start again with the plane, rotate it 90 degrees, extrude it a few more times and just create the basic shape of the fish and add some fins up and down. And this is a really simple process, straightforward, add additional loop cuts in order to add some depth to the fish. Now you can see fish is just a regular plane, but if we add the two loop cuts on the side and just go and move them a little bit, on the x-axis and mirror the whole part of the fish that we just made, we are getting some really cool shape. Also now I'm moving the vertices, just making a simple fish shape. This is it, really simple and easy. And now I will colorize it and we have a finished fish. You can see now the fish is here in the water, but before I make several copies of the fish, I wanna make a copy of this rock and put it down in the water because I want to create this really cool like scene where the fish are just swimming around that rock. Now I will add another circle with just eight vertices, not 32, and I will create umbrella out of it. So fill it with the F, move it up. I will go to faces edit view and just add a few faces, actually inset several faces, one more like that. And then I will use proportional editing to make the umbrella shape. And after that, I will just go to the last edge and move it a little bit down. And here we have an umbrella shape. Perfect. Now let's add a bar and just texturize it, actually add a color. So I will just select these polygons and add different color just to make this kind of effect. This is done. Let's create another plane. And this is for making a towel because we need a towel on a beach, right? Make it bigger. I will just go to the faces and subdivide it two times. And I will do exactly the same like I did with the water surface. I will just move randomly vertices up with the proportional editing and random curve, put it on the sand, add the material, and we are done. Now we just need to add a camera and add the lights and to render this out. And this is a final result. I really hope that you like it and I hope that you picked up a few tips and tricks through this episode. And again, if you want to watch a full two hour long instructional step-by-step -step tutorial, you can find it on my Patreon. The link is down there in the description. And also if you want to learn how to create this really cute low poly boat and you missed the previous episode, check it out right there. See you there. Bye-bye.